This is Las Vegas. It's expensive. Anxiety levels are through the roof. It's up to me and my responsibility. We are currently in mother hacking Las Vegas, the States. First time for me. But yeah, we made it, we're in Las Vegas. And the whole reason we are here is TwitchCon. <laughs> Meet and greets are crazy and stressful as well because you want to meet as many people as possible because they made you. They are the reason I'm even on that stage to begin with. But you also have to find this perfect balance of a person comes up to the meet and greet and you see like this line of 300 more people and they are wanting to get a few words out before they collect a signature, maybe a photograph and stuff. <laughs> I wish I could give everyone the time they deserve, but that is literally impossible because that would just mean that you would just be stuck talking to people for hundreds of years. Hi, I'm Numi, Shy Lily's BFFL caretaker. For now, we are at Lily's meet and greet. Um, we are like an hour and a half in. There's like a lot of people left and we have to like do the next thing pronto. So I have no idea how we're gonna do this. Lily really likes to take as much time as she can with the viewers because obviously she loves the fans. Everybody's been really hyped and excited. She's really good with the fans and it's like really freaking cute to see. I don't know, I just look at it with like hard eyes when I'm watching her. So Nomi is a special case because uh, I met her through streaming obviously and I grew to like her quite a bit already. And she was also the first friend I've ever met in person ever since making friends in the VTuber space. I want her to just stick around for everything. I'm like a little leech where I'm like, Numi, come with me. Come, we have to go. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Shana? Uh, I like how hardworking she is. It's kind of like that thing where when you meet somebody, you already know you guys are going to be like best friends. That's how I feel when I'm with her. So. I just feel like a proud parent whenever I see her do things like this. She's perfect. She's just the perfect fucking friend to have. And I hope that everyone finds the new me in their life. <laughs> I'm Cryo, and uh, I've been a long time VTuber watcher. I've been in, around in plenty of communities. I just went to go see Shy Lily at the meet and greet, and uh, it was an amazing time. Lily, could you sign my bicep? Oh, fuck Why yeah. didn't I get to sign the bicep? I think I'm he special. He was wearing He's wearing this. my shirt. He's like, <laughs> he was wearing this earlier. Time to cut it off and preserve it. <laughs> the VTubing aspect, I think it just gives a way for people to be more authentic and they don't have to worry about stuff like their visual looks when they're on camera. They can be themselves. They can be comfortable in their own skin. It creates a very welcoming and warming environment, in my opinion. And that's kind of why I was initially drawn to it. And that's why I'm still going to these cons. All right, Lily, that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I still feel like people have maybe an unrealistic standard that I can't live up to. So that's also nerve wracking. It's like, what if they think, I'm too small, too tall, too skinny, I don't have a nice sense of fashion, I don't like my hair or the way it falls. Can I live up to the expectations moment and am I making this a positive experience? Oh shit, let's go! 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, fuck. Thank you so much for supporting me, watching me. This is an experience of a lifetime. I'm sorry my voice is gone, but uh, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to come to America and meet all of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With Lash. Two more, let's go. Perfect. It's a lot on your body to be on con grounds for these many hours, but also being sick at the same time. I always tell them, hey, I'm sick, and then it's their decision. I think only two people said, oh, okay, never mind. The rest was just like, oh, fuck it, and they still go in for a hug. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you cosplay, let's Thank go! You. Thank you. Have a hug? I'm sick if that's okay. Oh, that's okay, yeah! <laughs> it's tough being sick, pumping through. It's not easy and in complete honesty, a big portion of what did get me through was guilt. The guilt of... It's TwitchCon. I know that, just like a lot of us streamers, but I know especially with her, missing one day of streaming or not getting to a certain event or not getting to see people, everything, will destroy her. She literally bends over backwards for her entire community and for the people and for everybody in this community. Uh, she always puts everybody first just to put a smile on someone's face, whether, whether it be a friend, uh, another creator, um, or even just a, a viewer or someone from her community. She treats everybody, you know, with the utmost respect and puts them first, always. That is so sweet. Get to have one of your own. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Low health lab. Do you want one? I'll, I will give you one. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you one. I'll give you a blowhole. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Have a good one! <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes you don't really feel like streaming. It's hard to describe, but it's usually just like blob of anxiety. But then once you are streaming, 10 minutes or so, not even 10, like five minutes in, it's all gone. The pressure of streaming is thinking everyone will forget you if you take like a day or two off. And in fact, like one of her tweets before she left to come here, she's like, please don't forget me. I mean, how could you forget her? It's Shy Lily, right? But we as creators go through that. Uh, it's after you click that button and you got the wonderful community that you've created, that you get to be a part of, it all goes away and you forget about it. And it's just worth it, especially when you go to conventions and stuff and you actually see the people they feel happier, they feel comforted, they don't feel lonely, and it's just, it's just nice to see like the impact you have, I guess. That feeling is what you have to like keep close to yourself. 